All right, getting to our first checkouts for the 1942 Westinghouse TBW3 transmitter. Picked this up at the uh, Minden swap meet yesterday in Nevada and uh, spent today building this little table to put it on so I can make the connections, which unlike a lot of radios, all the connectors connect at the bottom. So um, not really gonna put it on the desk and have it work. So we're just checking out the uh, basic systems after going through and making sure everything looks okay internally and tubes are in place, etc. So we'll fire up the DC power. And on this transmitter, that DC voltage is used only to illuminate the front panel lights, which I love, by the way, and also to uh, power the keying relay. Everything else is done by the uh, AC inverter. So we'll go ahead and get that going. And uh, note to audience, this is not really the panel light switch, it's actually the inverter switch. Right. We're going to turn on the AC power now. This is 120 volts AC at 800 hertz. And you see our line voltage right at 120 where it's supposed to be. And that's the filament voltage, which is adjustable from the front panel. And everything's working just the way it's supposed to, so getting ready to do some operational tests now.